So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and Ben. Uh, for those that don't know me yet, my name's David, and I'm Emma's younger, smarter, funnier, and uglier brother. Now, I've never had to do a speech like this before, so I asked what topics I should cover. I've been told simply, don't say anything bad about Emma, just stick to the nice things. With that being said, it's only take me a minute. <laughs> so, uh, so me and Emma, we first met back in 97. Uh, she was four, I was one, just been, just been born. Um, although she's a girly girl now, uh, she used to love mountain biking, motorbikes, quad bikes, football, you name it. So she was more like an older brother to me. Uh, me and Emma used to love sports. Uh, back when we were kids, we'd finish school and go straight to the leisure centre uh, with our everyone active cards. We'd go ice skating, then play squash, then badminton, and then we'd go swimming, with nothing more than a bag of crisps out of the vending machine between them. We'd spend all night at that leisure centre, absolutely starving, only to get home to Mum's stew and dumplings that's been sat in the slow cooker since the previous week. <laughs> it's really amazing how fast our hunger was cured when we lifted the lid and peeked inside. <laughs> Emma's always been the creative one, uh, whether she's knitting, moulding, painting, gluing, she was always brilliant at making things out of stuff lying around. Uh, Emma was a student at the Grimsby Art College and I would sometimes pop in on my way home from school to see her in class working away on her projects. Speaking of projects, uh, let me tell you about one particular project. So picture this, I've just got home from school and Emma comes up to me and she goes, can you be uh, involved in this new project I've got going on? It's uh, part of my course, and I need to get it submitted soon. Oh, what is it you need me to do, I asked. Uh, I want you to be a model in this portfolio I'm putting together. <laughs> Brilliant, I thought. I was about 10 years old, and I thought this was the, going to be the start of my big career in the modelling industry. So off we go. She snaps a load of photos of me, prints them off, and sticks them in this new book of hers. A few days later, I asked her how she got on, and she says, yeah, it was absolutely brilliant. I've got a distinction. All the students in my class thought it was uh, kind to showcase me like that. Well, I asked to take a look at the finished project. I turned the folder over, and what do I read? The project was titled, My Anorexic Brother. <laughs> <laughs> Followed by about 15 photos of my scrawny body. <laughs> Just to be clear, I never had anorexia, nor an eating disorder. My mum just couldn't cook. I mean, I <laughs> and, and my nana was too far away, so we were, were just survival. <laughs> uh, let's be honest, Emma helped me out so much when I was 16. She helped me get my first ever job at Stalin McGrange, where she was the manager. I was finally getting some money in my back pocket. By the time I was 17, me and Emma couldn't stand the sight of each other at least. <laughs> she went from my sister to my boss, and there was nothing I could have done about it. <laughs> but it wasn't the first time she was my boss, however. Emma used to run a paper round empire around the Yarborough estate. <laughs> As I was too young for a paper round at the time, Emma used to hire me to do her round. For the measly sum of £2, I would drop off all her newspapers, <laughs> and she got to pocket the rest. I remember one time it was freezing cold and she never let me do the round. For years I wondered why she wouldn't let me do it on that cold wintry morning. Then it clicked. It was only Christmas time and Emma made sure to collect all the tips herself. <laughs> but on a serious note, uh, as much as me and Emma used to terrorise each other all these years, I am very proud to call her my sister. I'm thankful for all the good memories we've created growing up and the laughs we had along the way. Despite what me and Chris maybe mumble under our breath, you are a great sister and you are incredibly talented. Uh, ben, I know you'll be a fantastic husband uh, to my sister and you'll continue to look out for her. For that, I'm very proud to call you my brother-in-law. The Walkers, I think you are a great bunch. They've all welcomed me with an open arms and a pint of beer. <laughs> Despite the fact all I get is Dave, 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 Dave every opportunity, I want to thank you both for giving us Matilda and Freddie. They mean so much to me, and as their uncle, I'll always be there for them all through their lives. Thank you to all the Canadian guys who have come over for this special occasion. It is amazing how far people go from free food. <laughs> That's all I have to say for now. If you want any modelling work doing, let me know. My agent's over there. <laughs> <laughs> to Emma and Ben. Oh. <laughs>